So one of the questions you get asked is, can you use the new Kindle 3 for web access? It comes with a little browser that's built in. It's marked as experimental, so you're obviously not meant to treat it that seriously. Um, it works through Wi-Fi, and if you've got the um, 3G one, uh, it works through that as well. I've got the Wi-Fi 3G one here, and it's on the Wi-Fi, so this is as fast as it's going to get. And as you can see, you have to use it through the little clicker there. It's, uh, there's no mouse, there's no touch screen or anything. You're just going up and down. So there's the BBC website, which came up rather faster than I would have expected because I'd already been there. I'm now trying to go back, but as you can see, it's actually not that great. You can zoom in um, and just about make things out. Um, you can click down and try to get to a headline. But it's not easy. Um, when you finally get to an article, if this one's going to load, which is taking quite a while, you can see that at the top. Um, again, this is on broadband, so it really isn't moving terribly quickly at all. Um, there we go. When you finally get to an article, you can zoom in and read it in article mode, which will strip out all of the photographs and you just get text, which is fine, but it takes a while. Now, there's all that um, multimedia stuff on the BBC website, so let me try something that's just very simple, like Wikipedia. Again, this is going to load more quickly than you'd expect because I've been there already. Um, although it's still not fast enough. So I'm just going to try and search for, let's say we're going to try and search here for Dunkeld. So I'm in the search box and I type in D-U-N-K-E-L-D. -E and Dunkeld's come up. And you can see it's quite tricky because he's selected it. But if I go down to the box there, it goes to the bottom of it and it's really quite difficult getting around so really the only way to go is to go over to the search box, click it and there we finally get through to the article I mean it's not bad but to be honest if you had to do an awful lot of work with it I think it would drive you nuts. It's a fantastic book reader as a Kindle, but um, as a replacement for a laptop, I'd say very definitely not. Thank you very much.